All right, turn in your King James Bible. We'll be reading Psalm 119, the biggest psalm in the book, and probably the well, the biggest chapter, I suppose, in the Bible as well. Psalm 119. Let's get into this. Follow along. Verse 1 it says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with their whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. Where false shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hidden mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed are thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all thy judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts, and I have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statues, I will not forget thy word. Deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live, and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth, I not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies are in my delight. Also, excuse me, says thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Verse 25, My soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my way, and thou heardest me, teach me thy statutes, make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so, I, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness, strengthen thou me according unto thy word, remove from me the way of lying, and grant me the law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth, thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run, run the way of thy commandments, when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have long longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Forty-one it says, Let thy mercies also let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually, for ever and ever. I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also, which my hands also will... I lift up into thy commandments, which I have loved, and will meditate in thy statutes. 49. It says, Remember thou the word to thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. I remember thy judgments, O Lord. Or, correction, I remember thy judgments of old, O Lord, and I have comforted myself. Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and I have kept thy law. This I have because I kept thy precepts. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. 
I entreat at thy favor with thy whole heart, with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways, and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste, and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of them, all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, the Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Thou hast dealt with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Thou art good, and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than ten thousands of gold and silver. 73. Thy hands have I made. Thy hands have made me and fashion me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Lest let I pray thee thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for the law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they doubt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn on to me, and those that have known thy testimonies, let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in, the, bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have dig pits for me which are not after thy law. All the commands are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully, help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon the earth, but I forsook not thy precepts, quicken me, quicken me after thy loving kindness. So shall I keep thy testimonies of thy mouth. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances. For all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for when thou hast quickened me, I am thine. Save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. 97. O oh, how I love thy law! It is my meditation all the day. Thou, through my thy commandments, have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I will understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my foot from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. One o five. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn, and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy word. Except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined mine heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. 100. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. 
Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast drawn down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth, like dross, therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. I have done judgment and justice, leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant, for good, let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation, and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant, give me understanding, that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy word giveth light, giveth understanding unto the simple. I open my mouth and panted, for I longed for thy commandments. Look, look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, for, for me, as thou used to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not an iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so I will keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of waters run down mine eyes, because they keep not thy law. Righteous are thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My seal hath consumed me, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do not... I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee. Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevented the night. Watchest that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies I have known of old, that thou hast founded them forever. Consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my case and deliver me. Deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved, because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. One sixty one. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in all thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgment. It's great peace are they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. 169. Let me, let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word. For all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my, let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. And that is Psalm 119.